welcome back everybody i got another relic runes walkthrough this is no man's land and once again i am obligated to inform you that playstation did send me a free review code for this game so no man's land just go to that spot on the map and we're going to go into the center courtyard area and we're going to kick things off now like all the other relic rooms it's very similar there there's a door you got to find a code you got to find a key and do a bunch of little puzzles in between so kicking things off here we're going to pull out this box in this kind of courtyard area and then push it against this back wall so we can climb up i don't believe i made an error in my daunt video relic rune i said you had to do all of them for the platinum well that is not true you only have to do three of them three out of the nine that's good news so we're gonna light up this fire gleam and bust this thing open once we drop down inside, we're going to pull open another thing with a, a pull caster. And then uh, we're going to take a path to the right once we break this open. And we're going to have another fire gleam. Now, once you break open this wall, there's going to be an energy canister inside. However, it's going to be empty. It's not going to have any power in it. So we're going to charge up the battery before we put it into the door. So grab the energy cell and go back the way you just came through the wall that we just previously blew open. Now carry this to the back corner over here to the right. And this is the charging station. Now what we need to do is find a way to get this energy cell across the water and you can't just walk it over there. So we're gonna use a box, of course we are. So we're gonna go up to the second level here, you know, off to the right hand side and we're gonna shoot our pool caster through this uh, gate here. Okay, and just go ahead and give it a tug, get it as close as you can. And then we have to go on the other side of this wall and we're just gonna have to kind of move this here a little bit at a time we might have to reposition ourselves to get the proper angle and it should drop down below once you've pulled it far enough okay so drop down to the box and then we're going to push it back over to where the, the battery charger is located we're gonna push it over here and grab the energy cell and then just place it on the box. Okay. We'll stand on top of the box and then hit triangle. The now you have to pull the box manually. You can't use your pull caster on this. Otherwise the energy cell will just fall into the water and you'll have to recharge it again. So I'm going to attempt to push this box up this ramp. I don't know why I can't grab this. So now place the battery into its slot. And if you look just to the right, you'll see that little purple thing. We're gonna scan that and get the door code. So you're gonna have to scan it and then open it with the touchpad. There. I think that powered something. And you'll see the code is 2204. All right, so now we need to use the box once again to get up to the next level. This handhold right in front of us would break quickly. And now we've just landed right next to the console where we can enter the code. I will enter the code in correctly. Fortunately, the first time, 2204. I don't think so. I don't know why it came up three. I'm just re-watching this, and I certainly did not hit three. There we go. And that will complete this relic room. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you found this video helpful and helped you complete this, please hit that like button and, of course, subscribe.